And outside Africa, the European Parliament has ratified the post-Brexit EU-UK trade deal, a key move to ensure that tariff and quota-free trade continues. The Trade and Cooperation Agreement has been operating provisionally since January. MEPs voted in favour by 660 votes to 5, while 32 abstained. The UK's chief negotiator, Lord Frost, said the vote brings certainty and allows people to focus on the future. And also in the news, French President Emmanuel Macron's government will unveil a new anti-terrorism draft bill on Wednesday, days after the fatal stabbing of a police officer by an Islamist extremist. The bill aims to identify suspects before they carry out an attack and will turn temporary measures into permanent ones. That could include extending a collaboration with telecom companies to review private communications and introduce the use of uh, algorithms in online surveillance. The controversial bill led to demonstrations last year, despite a ban on public gatherings during the coronavirus pandemic. It aims to protect security forces from online incitement to violence by making it an offence to show the face or identity of any officer on duty when there's an attempt to damage their physical or psychological integrity. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.